In daily online life, we use many social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. As a company looking to advertise products or as scientists, we can obtain a lot of information by analyzing the data that can be derived from these social networks. We talked before about how obtaining a model from our data is crucial for any data mining algorithms, and this is the case here as well. Before talking about the analysis of social networks, we should find a good way to model them, and we should look into their characteristics first. There exist many models that can be used to simulate the social networks. I will begin with introducing a graph model of social networks. The first essential question to think about is what the social network represents. I want you to think about Facebook and Twitter, something you use to connect to many other people. When we model these networks, we will have a collection of entities which we usually refer to as users. For example, if you have an account with Facebook, you are a user in this social network. And so is the University of Adelaide. Each of these social networks are defined by the fact that there is at least one relationship between different entities. On most of them, this relationship is referred to as friends. In some cases, the relationship between two users is that they are either friends or they are not. We call this an all or nothing relationship or a one or zero degree relationship. But we can also assign a real value degree to each relationship. Here is an example of a small social network. In this graph, we use nodes to denote the entities and model the social network as a graph. Two nodes are connected by an edge if the nodes are related by the relationship that characterize the social network. Friendships, for example. Often graphs are undirected, for example, friends on Facebook, but they can be directed, like followers on Twitter. There are many other examples of social networks other than friends networks, including telephone networks, email networks, collaboration networks, and disease transmission networks. Communities in these networks form groups of people that communicate frequently with each other. For example, groups of friends, members of a club, or emails on a mailing list. In the previous examples, all nodes are of the same type. It is also possible that a graph has several types of nodes, as we will see shortly.